I'm Ryan Sinton, your Texas Railroad Commissioner, and I'm out here with Travis Baer. He's one of our district directors, and this is his district that we're in. We're out here today looking at a drilling rig that's in operation right now, drilling a well. And Travis, I just love this surrounding because it, I think it gives people an idea of what these really look like. If you look back over here, there are cows 50 feet away from us grazing and taking a nap and watching us do our show. I mean, is this a pretty typical setting? Ryan, yes it is. This is very typical for the South Texas region. We see a lot of drilling activity in the farmland and ranch land here in South Texas. We see some, a lot of these drilling rigs uh, over the horizon and having these larger areas, these large drilling areas starting off right now while there's a lot of equipment and a lot of activity. And then as the drilling phase winds down and we start getting to where they start producing the oil and the gas out of the ground, the land starts going back towards its natural state. This area shrinks down and these cows can enjoy their natural state as they had before. Great. So Travis, here we are inside the company man's trailer and we're about to go back out on the drilling rig here, but tell us what we're looking at here. So Ryan, what we're looking at here is we're looking at all the paperwork, all the work that's done before the driller ever, ever comes out to the site and gets ready to drill. We're looking at all the permits that they have to get from the Railroad Commission. And what we're doing is making sure that they follow all the rules of where they're allowed to drill and where uh, all the fresh water is before they ever come out and put the drill bit to dirt. Awesome. So Travis, here we are on the floor of the drilling rig. We don't have a lot to inspect for up here, but it's just a great shot for people to see what it's like where the magic happens. I mean, what are a couple things that you find interesting up here? Right, Ryan, so what we're looking at here is uh, the drill pipe that you can see that's turning and turning, and it's going down over 18,000 feet right now is where they're drilling. That's over three miles deep. It's incredible, and there's lots more drill pipe yet that's on the side here that's waiting to be added on as they go deeper. And you might also be able to see the hose that goes all the way up, all the way up to the motor that's turning the drill pipe and that hose is carrying the drilling mud as it goes all the way down, helps clean the hole out as they're drilling, it helps keep the well under control. Great. Travis, one of the questions we get all the time is, how do I know that this well is not having a negative impact on my groundwater? And I like this shot because you can see all this production casing behind us. This is half inch thick steel pipe. And so talk a little bit about what we at the Railroad Commission require so that we know this stuff is not polluting the groundwater. Sure, so we at the Railroad Commission require all these operators and drillers to set surface casing or steel pipe all the way down to below the fresh groundwater. And not only do they have to set that steel pipe down there, they have to pump cement all the way around from the bottom of that steel pipe all the way up to the surface, continuous cement all the way from bottom to top. Then once they go below the fresh groundwater, then they have to drill down into the oil and gas and set some more casing just like this all the way down to the bottom where there's oil and gas and pump some more cement all the way around this casing to make sure that no oil and gas gets outside of the casing and that everything stays inside the casing as they're producing it from the bottom all the way to the surface. So as oil moves up that well, you got oil inside production casing, which is covered in concrete, which is, which is sealed in with surface casing, which is also then reinforced with concrete. You got it, Ryan. That sounds pretty safe to me. Yes, sir. Well, Travis, thanks for coming out with me today and, and showing the folks of Texas a little bit about what we do and what's happening in the oil business. Uh, as you guys are seeing this at home, you know, tell people about this. Share it if you can. Uh, I think more people want to know what we do out here and, and get a feel for what the Railroad Commission does. If you ever have questions, look us up. It is rrc.texas.gov. Call our office. Uh, we're here to serve and, and want to stay in touch with the people of the state. Thanks, Thank Travis. you, Ryan.